Asia Pacific 2021 Asia Japan. We participated at RC Day Co Space Rescue U14. Our team name is Genius and our team consists of Parky Dog and Jung Seo Jin. We are from South Korea. Parky Dog learned coding for five years, got first place in Korea at 2018, got fourth place in Korea at 2019, and participated at Russia RCAP and Dubai RCAP. Jung Seo Jin learned coding for three years, got the first place in Korea at 2019, got the third place in Korea at 2018, and participated at Russia RCAP. Our team mission is to get high score. Problem is because area was hard to go and there were few sign objects in the map. So it, it hurt to make small objects. For this problem, we use method of use some color line to wall tracing. As a result, our team's robot can save objects easier. Last week conclusion, we get higher score more than before. Challenge mission is making many super objects and getting to the deposit area quickly. We can break mission into many missions such as making RGB, wall tracing, and deposit using the purple line. Because we solved this mini mission, we could make highest score. Our AI algorithm is trace wall if loaded object is more than three. If robot made purple line, trying to deposit areas angle and go straight. At the last of the program, robot go around with wall tracing. For this program, we use tool named Cpubble and AI. When we use this tool, robot can deposit it want to do purple line and robot can guess for objects. Brown color line means wall tracing. Black color line means going to deposit when robot meets purple line. And red color line means turning to left corner when program starts because there are many objects. This flow chart, uh, this flow chart, flow chart show a program when robot meet purple line. Let's explain this flow chart when not object is more than three objects. Robot will tracing, and while robot will tracing, robot go to deposit area when robot meet purple line. Let's see this video. At first, because we didn't know the value of turning with purple line, robot didn't go deposit area. Even the robot didn't get super object. We tried many wall value and many turning value. So we got correct value and we could get good score. Now let's see video that explain our method.
We are satisfied with our result. And when we participate one more time, we will use this method again because we think this score is good. By using cost-based robot, we learn capable and programming robot control method that we never experienced. Also, while practice cost-based rescue, I get a lot of knowledge and get new experience. We want to share our program about one world trenching because it helped our team to go deposit area easier. Also, go deposit area easier make our team to get more points. Thank you for, Thank listening. You for listening. Now we now finish, we finish our, presentation. our presentation.